When I first heard about Pavlo versus Sandris, it sounded like a massive mismatch to me. Sandris just seemed to be a level or two above Pavlo, but this was not the case at all. On the first go inside of straps, Pavlo was able to take Sandris's wrist immediately. Sandris was in a terrible flop wrist position and he let the round go. In the second round, Sandris went for a hook and he was able to just barely get a stop right above the pad. Pavlo was hanging off the table with his body weight and was very separated from his arm. Sandris was much more efficient than Pavlo from here and Sandris gassed out Pavlo significantly before pinning him. And again, in the third round, Sandris was in a much better position. He had his shoulder behind his arm and was very tight. However, Pavlo was completely separated again. From this point on, Sandris really started to take over and could pretty much use whatever technique he wanted to. In the end, Sandris was able to get the win 3-1. to one. I'm super impressed with Pavlo. I think he was probably just as strong as Sandris, but Sandris' technical ability was on a whole other level.